All right, welcome to Make a Path Presents. I'm Ronnie Hayes, and today for your Daily Dose of Dead, we're going to take a break from the gameplay. If you don't know right now, we are trying to burn through the Telltale, or formerly known as Telltale's The Walking Dead. We're having a lot of fun playing the entire Clementine story because her story comes to an end, at least as far as we know. At the end of uh, March, I believe it's like the 26th, the very last episode is going to drop. We're going to be playing Michonne's Telltale Story as well too, so uh, if you're new on the channel, definitely check that out. But a lot of people in the middle of the gameplays have been asking specifically about Fear of the Walking Dead Season 5 and how that connects to uh, the Rick Grimes movies. And looking at something from Facebook where everyone was pulling these questions from... Someone said something on Facebook and then I went back to do the research and then see exactly what they said so I can answer y'all. But when I went back to do the research, the person said something and it just gave me this light bulb moment. Well, wait a minute. We might in fact be getting snow not only in The Walking Dead, a little taste I would imagine because keep in mind, if we get snow on The Walking Dead TV show, that's going to affect a lot of things as far as keeping us immersed in the story. You can't have whispers living out there in a blizzard because they don't live in houses like in our community. On top of that, we can't have a frozen herd of uh, zombies making their way in. It just wouldn't make any sense. A lot of fans would be like, wouldn't they f be frozen solid? You know what I'm saying? So I think in a way the snow on the show could actually delay some type of attack and that would be good, uh, at least for our survivors, and it would make sense in the story if uh, things popped off and let's say Alpha wanted to go, but they had to hold up because of the snow. It would give at least the story some breathing room from season to season. Uh, we don't know how it's going to play out, but yeah, it was confirmed there will be snow in the very last, maybe, episode or two this season for season nine, but... When I went to Facebook, this is what everyone's talking about. It is This is coming from comicbook.com. It says comic book now on Facebook, so that might be um, whatever this is called. It's the After after the Dead show. After the Dead, yeah. I don't, I'll don't. i be honest. I don't know what's up with comic book now. I knew it as comicbook.com, but that might be their Facebook name. So that way you guys can find this and give it a listen on your own. But I'll play the part that led me to believe, well, we might actually get snow. It featured throughout the entire first Rick movie, right here. And like kind of, I, I've said it before, so I'll say it. And like the northeast corner of the US, at least that was the plan originally, could okay. change. So if I'm wrong, it's because they changed things. Uh now what he's talking about is, originally, as far as he knows, the Rick movies were supposed to take place the northeast corner of the map. Now, our group currently is uh, right here by Washington, D.C. And I don't know how that's going to connect to our group in fear because weren't they just in Mississippi? So that's down here, even farther down south. So if Rick's movies are still, in fact, going to take place up north somewhere, let me move this over, up northeast somewhere, let's say even from... Uh, the middle of USA, let's say Minnesota, over all the way to Maine. Let's say anywhere on this east coast here. In north could be pretty much anything up here, depending on the time of year, would bring in snow. He's injured on top of being injured. And this is, again, for the first movie. On top of being injured, you have, let's say, it's winter in the Rick movies. That At least for the first movie, that at least gives them enough time to set up why he didn't get up and just go. If they took him down south and it's just sunshine and he's just got to heal, yeah, it would make sense that realistically for us fans to stay immersed in the storytelling, Rick would need to heal, get his strength up, and then he's going to take his ass back home. He'll find a way, you know what I'm saying? But if you add the fact that he's got to heal on top of it's the winter season, he's going to have to wait. He can't go out there, especially if it's already a blizzard. There's already two or three feet of snow on the ground. He can't risk that. Maybe they got a helicopter, but uh, he doesn't know how to pilot a helicopter. Maybe that's the only type of vehicle they got. I don't know. I'm just saying to keep Rick away from uh, his family and his kids he only knows about one of them, but you know what I mean. To keep him away from his family, it would have to be something where he's healing, 
and he's stuck somewhere without keeping him as a prisoner because that's not all that fun. So it just makes sense we would get a wounded Rick stuck in the winter time of year. And his plan would be to wait until, um, let's say, spring comes for him to get moving or for the weather to break. You don't want the weather, a, a sunny day to come up and then you go, oh yeah, I'm, I'm going to take off. And then it snows two days later. You know what I'm saying? So I think that would be kind of cool. I think that would be awesome. K Kirkman, uh, not Kirkman, Scott Gimple said these would be movie scale on TV, on AMC premiere. And I think that would be so awesome because you got something that fits the story that makes sense. No one's going to bitch and moan about Rick not being able to travel during the winter season. And I'll get to why he's gone for years in a second. But on top of that, while he is there, that's when you intertwine his story and give him a reason to slow him down even more. How you're going to do that and in what way, I have no idea. Maybe you make Jadis the ultimate villain and maybe she comes back with information that they didn't make it. You know what I'm saying? Whatever happened at back home with the herd and all that, the the t Alexandria was overrun, the towns were destroyed, and everyone's gone. People are dead. A lot of people are dead. She didn't find anyone. All the communities are gone. They went bust after that. I mean, what would Rick do in that case? I want to believe that Rick would still want to go and see it for himself, still not believe it until he sees it, but that could be a possible thing. I mean, he uh, he saw how devastating it was with the the herd that he was already fighting because that's what happened right before it blew up. So, and again, I am really reaching for what's going to keep Rick away for a number of years, and it has to fit the story. And I can understand, okay, injury, winter time, and then he gets wrapped up in some type of story where maybe he's helping other people or this, that, and a third. But that's only going to delay him for a certain amount of time. What's going to delay? What's going to keep him from? returning to his people for years you know what i'm saying so just to give you an idea i'm really pulling for the idea to stay that it will be somewhere up north it doesn't i don't really care if it's northeast like i'm talking like new york um massachusetts connecticut pennsylvania pennsylvania would be pretty cool i think if anything i put my money on pa i know it's real close to dc well that might be too close to dc now that i'm thinking about it but just because pa pittsburgh pennsylvania that's uh george romero you know what i'm saying it just kind of feels it fits in that zombie uh genre lore uh, but that's not the case because if Commonwealth is anywhere near Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania in the show, then that's going to be an issue. Or actually, it could be Ohio, uh, close to Pennsylvania, and that is uh, – no, wait, wait, wait. Hold on a second. Now that I'm looking at the map, didn't they go through Ohio to get the princess in the comic book? So how did they go through Ohio and then Pittsburgh? You know what? I'm not even going to question that. I could be thinking of it wrong. But all I'm saying is I think that's a great combination. We finally get snow. That's throughout the whole movies. It keeps Rick locked down. Uh, the injury, you have something that's a different feel and a different vibe. I'm still not sure what type of characters or what type of story they're going to give Rick. But I think the snow would be a nice refreshing touch. And again, at least for the first movie, we know there's a, almost a definite chance by now that Michonne will eventually catch up to Rick and the Rick stories. There's a chance for Morgan in them. And I'll play this next clip because a lot of people are asking about this. It's going to pick up there. It's going to... About that possible Madison Clark cameo in the... While we're on the topic, I think if you're interested right in Rick's story, you will be interested in Fear the Walking Dead season five. Ooh. Rick is not on Fear the Walking Dead season five that I know of, Okay. but there are elements to the upcoming season of Fear the Walking Dead, which you will enjoy, and they're going to make the universe a little bit smaller. Okay, we have one more. Now, that's one thing that everyone has been asking me. There's elements of, uh, which that, I just don't understand how that makes any sense. Again, because they're down south. If they were originally planning, if he's right, and they were originally planning from... Um, I'll be honest with you. I feel like 
uh, brand the Brandon guy goes to, and it's hard because if he comes out and says like what his connection is with the show, then we could be like, okay, this is it, this is it. But I feel like yeah, he does get some early screenings, and he does look into spoilers, and he does, uh, you know what I'm saying, to kind of put the pieces together. He does look at synopsis. So um, I screw that word up. So in a way, it's kind of like. I think maybe there's a little bit of bullshit in there, mixed in there, blending it, making it seem like he knows literally everything that's coming up. It might not even be anywhere near Northeast, anywhere near the North, because if Gimple is currently writing this, I mean, how the hell does he know? You know what I'm saying? So, and then when it comes to Fear the Walking Dead, again, it would be easier if I knew his credentials, like... I, where's he getting this information from? Maybe it's exclusive interviews, but then that stuff would be all over, and this wouldn't be the first time we're hearing about it. So I'm not really sure. Maybe I'll look into that a little more. But uh, when it comes to Fear the Walking Dead and that Rick connection, a lot of people ask me if that's going to draw me back to Fear the Walking Dead. It's not for a number of reasons. I don't see how that's going to make. Any, I don't see how that's going to have any connection unless it's like, yeah, there's a chance that these characters will eventually end up in the Rick movies. And if that's the case, I don't care. I'll just watch them in the Rick movies. I'm going to take a peek at what they got going on with Fear the Walking Dead in season five, the new season. But like I said before, I'm not reviewing it on the channel. Every Sunday, we're still going to be doing a live stream. Every Sunday is going to be a little different once the Walking Dead is off the air. So when Fear the Walking Dead is on the air, we might be doing a video game play. We might be doing a uh, open Q&A or something. I'm sure people are going to watch the new episode and then come in and talk about it. I don't really care if people talk about it because, like I said, I, I have lost so much interest in it. And when I lose interest in a show... I don't personally care about spoilers. So if people want to still come and chit-chat about the episode, I'm sure a simple, I loved it, I hated it, that'll be it, you know? And then people can laugh about anything that's stupid or praise something that's really cool in there. So as far as Fear the Walking Dead having something that is an Easter egg or connects to Rick's story or anything, I just at this time, I don't see what in the world that could even be. So if you guys want to leave your thoughts and predictions down there for what that might be, go for it. Again, it's it's not interesting enough to bring me over to Fear the Walking Dead and watch it right away. I'll get to it whenever I can. I'm pulling for it, though. I hope it is really good uh, because that way if it stays on long enough, maybe they can actually take these characters, bring some of, some of them back to the Walking Dead or just incorporate some of them into the movies or even... Uh, their own little set of movies that will eventually cross over into the Rick movies. Like, I mean, like what I mean by that is if they don't want to continue with another season of Fear the Walking Dead, they can do uh, movies for Fear the Walking Dead instead. And again, it's only changing the name. It's still simply telling a story. Instead of having, well, I don't even know, 15 episodes or 16 episodes of Fear the Walking Dead, they'll just simply have a movie to, to continue those uh, characters in that story. And again, that's probably a stretch, but uh, I'm up for anything, however they want to change it. It's just <clears throat> the difference between long episodes and then singular movies. So I'm good with that. As long as it gets good. If it doesn't, uh, just take it out back and put a bullet in its head, you know? All right, that's just one fan's thoughts uh, to uh, other fans, whatever. <laughs> that's just one fan's opinion. You guys can leave your thoughts and opinion down in that comment box because I'm done talking, so it's your turn.